Melissa, Rob, Omaha police say in both cases here at the Family Dollar, witnesses did exactly what police encourage people to do. They made mental notes of as many things as possible to relay to investigators. But in both cases, the suspects took off on foot, and so far, there have been no arrests. Crime tape cordoning off the Family Dollar parking lot Friday night at 24th and Leavenworth after an armed robbery. Jennifer Edney was shopping when she found herself at the center of the terrifying crime. Three men running into the store, one of them coming directly for her. His left hand wrapped around to the right side of my head with the gun, and then he had shoved it into the right side of my face. Edney says the suspect drug her to the checkout counter, telling the cashier he wasn't messing around and he would shoot. Security measures preventing cashiers from opening the register or safe. And all I remember is I could hear her say, I can't open it. And I was like, oh my God, don't say that, because I thought I was dead. Police say the thieves got away with just a few items. The clerk behind the counter Friday didn't want to show her face on camera, but says it feels unfair to face such a threat at work. It's scary, you know, like you don't want to just be at work and think you can just lose your life for, for what, for a couple hundred dollars. Sunday night, another armed robbery. This time, just one man held up the store. At one point, he, uh, he did use his own lanyard to tie up one of the employees um, while the other employee went through the uh, cash box. Jennifer Edney says she's just thankful her two young daughters weren't with her and that no one was hurt. Determined now not to live in fear. I don't want people to be fearful of, of going into that particular store or being in this area because you can meet the kindest people. Sergeant Yanez with the Omaha Police Robbery Unit says there's no clear indication these cases are related, but they have not completely ruled it out as a possibility. Again, there have been no arrests in either case. If you do know anything, call Crime Stoppers. Back to you.